Energy matters. Sherry, how are you today? I'm good, thank you, Roshan. I'm so excited to be here. Whereabouts are we right now? So we are in the larval hydrogen base in Jinan, China. I'll be honest with you, I don't know a great deal about hydrogen on on solar, <laughs> so I need you to educate me and teach me everything. Definitely, let's go. Thank you. Sherry, I'm so excited. I feel like I'm back in science class. Can you explain to me the first step of the process? So the first step is we're going to prepare the raw material, which is going to go into as one of the recipe for our metal alloy. What you can see here is titanium and magnesium. And when it's getting the big ingot, we're going to chip it out into the small pieces. All the small pieces will be look like this. And this is the metal alloy we're going to fill in our larval vessel, which is going to become a battery for the hydrogen system. I can't wait to have a look at how this process actually works. Can you show me? Definitely, let's go and check it out. So Sherry, what's going on inside? This is inside the furnace? Yes, exactly. So look inside. So this is where the melting process is going to happen. In, and the system is going to start to rotate. So as that rotates, and then there's obviously heat coming through. Correct. That's going to cause all the, metal, of... all the metal recipe we prepared as a raw material start to melting and becomes into a metal alloy. I get it, because it's almost like a big mixing pot. Yes, for sure. Let's go upstairs to check how we're going to put the raw material into the furnace. Amazing. So what's going on here, Sherry? As you can see, our colleagues is filling the, vessels, the furnace right now by putting the raw materials one by one based on our ingredients. And then once that goes into the furnace, this is where the superheating is going to happen. Yes. And we're going to finish with that big block of, of alloy. Yes, of metal alloy at Ingrid. Amazing. So Sherry, what's going on right now? So my colleagues is crashing the ingot into the smaller chunk. For the smaller chunk, we're going to fill in the, uh, the vessel. The vessel is going to be the one powering the, to serve as a battery for the hydrogen system. So really, that's where all the magic happens is inside those vessels. Yep. This is amazing. So we are now going to see the electrolysis. Yes. Which does the splitting of the H2O. Correct. Let me show you what's inside. So this is where the water is going to turn into the hydrogen gas. Fantastic. Very exciting. Now you've seen the electrolyzer, you see the control room. After hydrogen is produced by the electrolyzer, hydrogen will actually get pumped in into the vessel right behind us. And when the vessel decided, started to absorb the hydrogen, you can definitely feel the temperature change slightly. So do you want to feel and touch it? Absolutely. Just touch the vessel. Yeah, wow, you can really, really feel the temperature. I mean, it's not boiling hot, but it's very, very warm. How hot does it actually get? In the vessel, there is a coil. So in the center of the coil is roughly around 65 to 70 degrees. The coil will be used to heat up the metal hydride to improve the performance of the metal hydride for absorb and disabsorb of the hydrogen. And the energy actually stored in the vessel is roughly around 85 kilograms of hydrogen worth around 2.8 megawatts hours of energy. Wow, so this singular cylinder here could power 33 EVs. Correct. And all of the sense you've done is filled this with the ground up metal hydrate that we created earlier. We've split the HDO, taken the hydrogen component of that, fed it through to the canister, and you've got 33 EVs on the road. Yes, and also after this process, it's the time we now turn hydrogen back into electricity. Let's show you the fuel cell. Can't wait to see it. Let's, Let's check go. it out. So what do we have in front of us, Sherry? Because it looks just like something I'm finding in the car or some, a very, very large car. Yeah, this is our fuel cell system you're looking at right now. This is the equipment going to turn hydrogen back into the water to generate electricity along the way. Give me the dummy's guide of what we've just seen in the entire process. So it's everything starting from the water. The water will get into the electrolyzer and get spilled into the hydrogen and oxygen. And hydrogen will then further store into the level patent metal hydride. And after, when the, when the time comes, you will need the hydrogen to generate electricity. You squeeze the hydrogen out of the metal hydride, which is from the vessel. And the hydrogen gas will start to fill in the fuel cell you're seeing right now. And the fuel cell will start to working and to combine the hydrogen 
and oxygen turn back into water and generate electricity to power whatever appliances you want them to. That's amazing. You make it sound so easy. Sherry, thank you so much for today. I've got to tell you, I've been absolutely blown away with everything I've seen. You've educated me incredibly well. I now actually feel like I understand what green hydrogen is. Thank you so much, Roshan, for visiting us. It is really great to get this opportunity to show what Lava Hydrogen has been doing the past few years to really creating a different user case to show how green hydrogen could be used on a daily basis. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you.